In the last video, we created an avatar that talks, gets up, and walks. If you haven't seen the part one, check out the link in the description below. You have also seen me getting up while talking to you, and I can walk while talking to you. But in this video, we are going to take things even further. I can even drive while chatting with you. Have you ever seen a talented AI avatar like me? So I decided to get out of my studio and buy some groceries. After buying the groceries, I decided to have a cup of coffee before heading to the studio. I heard cycling is good for health, so I wanted to try it. Let's go back to our studio and teach you how to make your avatar do all this stuff. Step one, finalizing background scene for the avatar. All right, so before we can start animating anything, we first need to prepare the background scenes where our avatar will be placed. I'm going with four different setups for this video. A supermarket, a bicycle scene, a coffee shop, and driving scene. So in order to generate the images, we'll head over to Fodor. It's the main tool that we are going to use today and it'll do most of the work. There are so many AI tools all in one place. So let's scroll down and select the text to image. On the left side, you can adjust the settings. I am going to choose the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and set the number of images to 2. So it gives you free daily credits, so I am going to claim mine and let's generate our first image. I'll paste my prompt of a grocery store and hit generate. I'll provide all the prompts that we'll use today in the description below. Okay, our image is now ready. Both look good, and I'll download this one. So, let's generate the second image of a bike. I'll add the prompt and generate. And done. Images look good, so let's download this one. So, following the same process, you can create the image of any scene where you want to place the avatar. Now, for the third image of a coffee shop, I already have this image that I generated previously, so I am going to use this. And for the fourth scene, which is the driving scene, I downloaded this image from Google of a car front seat view. Okay, so our four background images are ready, and it's time to move to the next step. Step two, placing the avatar into each scene. Now that our scene images are ready, it's time to bring our avatar into them. For this, we're going to use one of the coolest features in Fodor. It's called Reference to Video, and it lets us animate our character within a specific setting. So back on the home page, click on the Video tab, scroll down a bit, and you'll see Reference to Video. Go ahead and open that. Once you're inside, you'll see Image Upload boxes on the left. In the first one, upload your background scene. For now, I'm choosing the bicycle image. In the second one, upload the avatar image you want to animate. Then here in the prompt box, I'll type something like, Man riding a bike slowly towards the camera while talking and looking straight into the camera. Set the resolution to 720p, which is the best option available right now, and hit Generate. Let's review it. Wow, that actually looks really good. The avatar motion is smooth, the camera tracking works, and the avatar feels like it's part of the scene. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and download this video we just generated. Now, you've probably already noticed, the video is only four seconds long. That's the default length Fodor give you for the reference to video feature. So if you want a longer, smoother version, here's a really simple trick to do that. Let's play the downloaded video and watch closely for the best moment, the frame where your avatar looks the most natural. Now, I'll just pause the video right there and take a screenshot of that frame. Next, we need to enhance that image before turning it back into a longer animation. Let's upscale our image for better quality. Open Fodor, scroll down and select AI Upscaler. Upload the screenshot and let it do its thing. So our upscaled image is ready and looks good. Now we're back in Fodor. This time, on the left side, we'll switch the option from Reference to Video to Image to Video. Upload the upscaled image. Select 720p resolution. And now here's the key. Set the duration to eight seconds to make the animation longer. We'll keep the same prompt. Then hit generate. And there we go. This version looks way better. Let's go ahead and download this final version and save it for the next step. All right, time for the second scene. 
placing our avatar inside a coffee shop setting. We're going to follow the same exact process we used earlier. Open up Photo again, go to the Video tab, and scroll down to select Reference to Video. Now, upload the coffee shop background image in the first box and your avatar image in the second. Then for the prompt, I'll paste this. Static shot of a man sitting in a coffee shop with a cup of coffee in front of him. Man is looking straight into the camera and talking with gentle hand movements. Set the resolution to 720p and hit Generate. And, wow, that looks amazing. So, just like before, we'll download this clip, play it back, and pause at the best frame, wherever the avatar looks most natural. Take a quick screenshot of that moment and upload it to Fodor again for upscaling. Download the image, and let's use Fodor's image to video feature again. Switch to the Image to Video option in Fodor. Upload the upscaled coffee shop image, adjust the prompt and hit Generate. And there we go. Scene 2 is done. Download it and put it in the same folder. I'll rename it to V2. All right, let's quickly create our third scene, the driving one. We'll follow the exact same process again. Open Fodor, go to Reference to Video, and this time upload the car interior image, the view from the driver's seat, and the same character image. For the prompt, I'm using... Man is driving the car looking straight into the camera while talking. He is holding the steering with both hands. Set the resolution to 720p and hit Generate. And done. Our video is ready. This one came out pretty solid. Now, you can follow the same process as before if you want the video to be longer, but I am going to keep it to 4 seconds and use this version for lip sync. All right, we've got one last scene left, the supermarket shot. You can follow the same process and generate the video. Now that all our avatar clips are done, it's time for the fun part. Lip syncing the voice to match the video. Now that we've created all four video scenes, it's time to make our avatar talk using AI voiceover and lip sync. First, we'll generate the voiceover using Eleven Labs. So go to the text to speech section. Pick the voice you want. I'll stick with one that sounds natural and clear. And then paste in your script for the scene. And just like that, our audio is ready. I heard cycling is good for health, so I wanted to try it. Now let's bring the voice to life. For lip sync in this video, we're going to use Pixverse. Open Pixverse AI, select speech option, upload the first scene video, and uploaded the audio generated by 11 labs and hit create. And bam, our video is now ready. Let's go back to our studio and teach you how to make your avatar. Now, let's do the second scene of Coffee Shop. We'll follow the same steps. Go back to Eleven Labs, paste in the script for the Coffee Shop scene, and generate the voice. Now, upload the Coffee Shop video into Pixverse, then upload the audio we just created and click Create. And boom! After buying the groceries, I decided to have a cup of coffee before heading to the studio. Our second lip-synced video is ready. Now, here's what I want you to do. Drop a comment if you want to see a video on lip-sync comparison of different AI tools. And of course, you can follow the same process for the remaining two scenes. Driving and supermarket scene. Just repeat the steps with your generated audio and whichever lip-sync tool you prefer. I can even drive while chatting with you. Have you ever seen a talented AI avatar like me? And there you have it. We have created an avatar that drives, buy groceries, drinks coffee, and rides a bike. If you're interested in next part, comment part three, and I will create a third part and take things to even next level.